Here we are in Orlando finishing ASH 2019 with lots of news on all uh, pathologies and lots of news on CLL. So should we go back and treat our patients differently, frontline patients with CLL? And we've heard some the update of the trial uh, comparing FCR versus ibrutinib in first line treatment, ibrutinib plus rituximab. In a long term follow up, we see that most of the patients in the ibrutinib arm are still on treatment. So it seems like uh, only 7% of the patients had to drop off due to progressive disease. And there is a big difference in PFS and a difference in overall survival between these two groups. But the major difference is in those patients with unmutated CLL. So I think we do have to treat the patients with unmutated CLL differently. There is no doubt about the benefit. And still there is some discussion whether there is still room for chemotherapy in those patients with mutated CLL. And the other news is acalabrutinib. We've shown, they've shown the, the results of the ELEVATE trial, which is uh, acalabrutinib uh, with or without ovinotuzumab versus chlorambucil and ovinotuzumab. And here we also see a big uh, difference in PFS in favor of patients receiving acalabrutinib, which uh, is a new option in fr uh, frontline treatment. And this is for patients, for unfit patients with CLL. But the big thing is to try to get an, a limited time treatment you know, not a chronic treatment. We all want some limited time. So the other option is acalabrutinib, venetoclax, and ovinotuzumab, which results have been shown with almost 100% of patients having a response rate with 48% of the patients with undetected minimal residual disease in bone marrow with this triple combination.